We use brackish water wells from the uh, Florida Aquifer. It's a very large amount of water supply. Our wells are drilled to about 800 feet deep. Pumps are set at 100 feet, and we pull that brackish water up and out of the ground and bring it into our uh, pretreatment system. The next step is we uh, add some pretreatment chemicals. After that, we send the water through a 5 micron cartridge filter system, and from there it goes into the high pressure pumps to the RO trains. The process of RO is moving a saline solution through a membrane under pressure and overcoming the natural osmotic pressure. And what we do is we separate the pure water from the concentrated salt water. And that brackish water goes one direction and the permeated uh, clean water goes in opposite direction. We take that permeate water and we add some of our raw water back to economize and bring the mineral content up. And then that goes into a degasification system that strips the hydrogen sulfide. We then adjust the pH, uh, disinfect with sodium hypochlorite, and after the contact time for disinfection, that's sent to our storage tank. Water is held there, and it's uh, in a constant state of movement that gets distributed out to the consumer. The brains of the system are controlled by a central processing unit, and it's a micrologics processor that controls the system through a series of automated controls. We take samples all along the way of every step of the process, from out of the raw water wells, our pretreatment, at each individual RO train and then post-treatment as well and distribution all the way out to the consumer. Our current maximum output at this plant is 12 million gallons per day and the south plant is 18 million gallons per day. So combined we can produce 30 million gallons of water per day.